A pleasant good morning to everyone and a warm welcome for the Faculty Excellence Awards Ceremony, an annual day celebration at RVS College of Arts and Science. Nigashin Todakamaga Tamil Thai Walthu. Nilarum Kadadudetta Nilamadandhe Kelilolukum Seerarum Badanamena Thigal Parada Kandamidil Tekkanamum Madhi Sirandha Dravidana Thirunodum Tarkasira Pirai Nudalum Daritanarum Thilagamme Athilaga Vasanai Polanai Thulagum Inba Mura Yedisayum Pugal Manakka Irandha Peru Thamilanangi Tamilanagi Un Sirilamai Thirambi Yandha Sayal Varandha Vartu Dumi Vartu Dumi Vartu Dumi Maria Dikuria, Mudalvar, Munaiva, Shivakuma, Raya, Vergali, Varavir Purium, and Arikim, Vasitida, and Boda Arikindro. Her never come on a come. Good morning, Munadal present here. Revered Chief Guest of the 38th Annual Day and Faculty Excellence Award Ceremony of our College, Dr. V. Irianbu, IAS, former Chief Secretary of Tamil Nadu, and erudite scholars in both Tamil as well as in English. He is a man of simplicity and column of future generation. On behalf of management, staff and students, and my own behalf, I extend a cordial welcome you, sir. <clears throat> a heartwarming welcome to our revered managing trustee, Dr. K. Sandil Ganesh, a dynamic visionary, a leader, a passionate academician, and an ardent analyst, and his under his mentorship, the RBS Educational Trust grown leaps and bounds nationally and internationally. Welcome, you, sir. With the folded hands, I welcome our esteemed correspondent, Madam Sri Vidya Lakshmi Chandil Ganesh, who is an icon of strength and courage, a huge source of support and guidance in all our endeavors. Welcome, you, ma'am. I take pleasure in welcoming our Chief Executive, Mr. P. K. Nadrajan, sir. Welcome, you, sir. I extend a warm welcome to person worthy of admiration, our Secretary, Professor Sarama Samuel, whose unparalleled expertise has always been our guiding lights to march forward towards the goal of comfortable ease. I welcome wholeheartedly, ma'am. I extend warm welcome to Nushat, teaching assistant, research scholar, Glasgow University from UK. Welcome, ma'am. The extent a warm welcome to our vice principal, principals from various institutions, IQSC, coordinator Mr. P. Ayapitas, our control of examination, Jalakshmi Madam, all the directors, heads of the various departments, and teaching and not teaching staff of our college, and equally warm welcome to the media personnel, distinguished guest parents, and my dear students. Good morning. On behalf of management, staff, and students, and on my own behalf, I extend a very cordial welcome to you all, the 38th annual day function. It is with a great sense of pride and I catalog the academic achievements of our college during the academic year 2023-24. The year 1986 witnessed the birth of this first self-financing college in the domain of Bharadeya University with eight teachers and three programs and 300 students. Presently, this co-educational institution offers 23 UG programs and 15 PG programs inclusive of AACT approved MBA and MCA programs and 11 research programs which includes MPhil and PhD with the 250 teaching faculty. Our college takes pride in having that 4,700 students in various disciplines of UG, PG and research programs have earned distinct credits such as confirmation of autonomous status of for 10 years up to 2031 to 32. I am very proud to inform you that we got A plus grade by NAC with CGPA 3.37 out of 4 in the fourth cycle held during January 2023 for the period of 5 years up to January 2028. 
द अकेडमिक एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बगैन विद सेकेंड एंड थर्ड इयर क्लासेस कमेंसमेंट ऑन फोर्टीन जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर द अकेडमिक इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर द फर्स्ट इयर यू जी स्टूडेंट्स जॉइंट एस ऑन ट्वेंटी जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड द फर्स्ट इयर पी जी स्टूडेंट्स ऑन फोर्टीन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स ऑफवर्ड बाई द कॉलेज विद इट्स सरन एंड सेलेबरस एनवायरमेंट द अकेडमिक एम्बियंस हेनरिस्ड बाई द एनकम्पैसिंग ग्रीनरी द टीम ऑफ डेडिकेटेड एंड डिवोटेड स्टाफ मेम्बर्स हैव ऑल एडेड टू द इमेंस पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन अवर कॉलेज एस सी एस टी स्टूडेंट्स आर बेनिफिटेड बाय द स्कॉलरशिप एंड ट्यूशन फीस सैंक्शन बाय द गवर्मेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु द स्कॉलरशिप सैंक्शन फॉर फोर लैक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइन्टी एंड ट्यूशन फीस फॉर सिक्स लैक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव थर्टी वे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू वन थर्टी थ्री एस सी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स इन द करंट अकेडमिक इयर अवर लाइब्रेरी इज इन पोजिशन ऑफ फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड बुक्स थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर बैक वॉल्यूम्स इंक्लूडिंग थीजस एंड थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सी डीज एस ऑन डेट एंड सेवेंटी थ्री जर्नल्स आर सब्सक्राइब ऑन वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स द अवेल अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन डेटा बेस इनफ्लिपनेट एन डी एल आई सब्सक्राइड एप्सको अबउट ट्वेंटी लैबोरेटरी अटैच टू द वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स हेव बीन फुली एक्यूब्ड विद एडिक्युएट गैजेट्स एंड अम्यूनिटीज वी हेव रिसीव फिनाशियल असिस्टेंस मोर दैन वन पॉइंट एट क्रोर्स फ्रम द वेरियस फंडिंग एजेंसी यूजीसी डिएसटी डिबिटी तमिलनाडु स्टेट कौनसिल फॉर सैंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू कैरी अवट द मेजर एंड मैनर रिसर्च प्राजेक्ट्स फ्रम टू थौसेंड एट आनवर्ड्स वी आर वेरी प्रउड टू से दट वी रिसीव वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर क्रोर अंडर द डिपिटी स्टार कॉलेज स्कीम ड्यूरिंग टू थौसेंड एटीन एंड वी हेव एस्टाब्लिश सेंट्रल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन रिसर्च लैबोरेटरी एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स ऑफ लाइफ सैंस स्टूडेंट्स वित् वैल्यू ऑफ एक्यूपेंस सेवेंटी फाइव लैक्स डिएसटी एम एच आर डी हेज ग्रांटेड रुपीज सिक्सटी टू लैक्स फॉर अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन सैंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी लैबोरेटरी इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बयोकेमिस्ट्री बयोटेक्नोलॉजी फुड्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन एंड एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अंडर द डिएसटी फिस्ट लेवल zero for pg departments we had a privilege in hosting the all india dbt coordinators meet come second review of task force meeting from 7th february 2024 to 9th february 2024 the 15 scientists from institutions of national importance and also 150 academician including vice chancellors principals deans coordinators were participated from throughout the country our faculty members and research scholars have published research articles in various international national journals with a sound impact factor and h index based on their performance and publication of research articles and other research activities the faculty excellence award will be issued in various categories hod's category the 10 years and above 5 to 10 years and below 5 years every year this year totally 50 awardees were selected based on the above in which 20 awardees with a cash prize and certificate our students got more than 30 medals in national powerlifting deadlifting and weightlifting weightlifting tournaments held at various various places the silver medal in open state level deadlifting and bench press championship 2023 our gymnastic instructor mr karvendan won asian over level over level champion in powerlifting and won many strongman awards held in india he got best team coach award in the even held at gwalior and he is a national referee in powerlifting and bodybuilding events the training and placement division has periodically procured lucrative position for our students in top notch companies the institutions also has tied up having signed mous with the several firms nationally and internationally in other off and on campus interviews conducted during the academic year 2023-24 and 549 offers letters were issued to 410 students by reputed indian companies as well as multinational companies as on date the lot of innovation is being done in updating the syllabus based on the outcome based education for all ug and pg programs in uh, commensurate with the requirements of the present day the subject matter experts of our college act as a vibrant trainers and increase the skill of the other members of the faculty in the same process with a strong foundation of practical knowledge and skills the library library of question banks containing the multiple choice questions discussion questions and reasoning questions are scrupulously prepared by the faculty members which is fully automated by robust software the question banks are then scrutinized 
thoroughly and their quality and correctness are certified by subject experts from other renowned institutions. The reasoning questions are made a part of our teaching and evaluation system which enhance the logical thinking skills of the students which in turn help them in their placements. I assure that we will continue and strive hard to improve in this area in the years to come. It is evident that the current academic year is continuing to play the pivotal role towards the establishment of the vital and vibrant results oriented growth and development of the college. The future is promising as it beckons as towards the pinnacle of glory and grandeur. I am indefinitely grateful to the management, staff, students for their unflinching support and unstinted cooperation in our march towards the realization of our goal. Before I conclude, I wish to express my profound gratitude to every individual who has extended a helping hand to make this solemn occasion a memorable one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. RVS Arakatali, Nirvaka and Kavala, Aya Munaver, Ku, Sendil Ganesha, Yavarakali, Telemure, Atida, and Boda Rekindro. Most respected Chief Guest of today's function, Dr. Irayan Busar, IAS. Former Chief Secretary, Government of Tamil Nadu, dignitaries on the dais, guests of uh, Irayan Busa, faculty members, staff, guests from different institutions, student friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's really an honor to be part of this both annual day and uh, felicitating an, uh, our exceptional teachers for this year. At the outset, let me congratulate the principal for having uh, completed another successful year. This is our 38th year in existence. So on behalf of the management secretary, let me congratulate the principal, vice principal, uh, the teaching staff, the students, and everybody uh, who has been involved uh, all through these years. And especially this year has been really, really eventful uh, because so far, uh, we were witnessing programs, uh, we were getting experts, we were getting people from within Tamil Nadu and uh, sometimes from other states, the southern states mostly. But uh, this year alone, we have been able to do national level programs and the DBT program, two programs that we did under the DBT was a phenomenal success where uh, the team was able to bring people from all over the country, eminent scientists from all over, all over the country. And I know all, uh, the lot of work has been put uh, into this. And uh, there was a lot of competition also, because it's, it's not easy to bring scientists from all over the country to a particular institutions, because there are other well-established and older institutions who wanted to do similar things and have, they've done great things as well in the past. But this year, we were really, really fortunate to do this. So once again, I would like to congratulate the entire team who was behind this. And I, we will continue supporting these kinds of ventures. In fact, like uh, Dr. Irayan Busar is, uh, has been to our campus many times and we have been fortunate to be associated with him for more than 10 years. And every time he comes and, uh, you know, we'll just get a short time to spend before the function and maybe a little longer after the function. But uh, within that time period of two or three hours, he ensures that he leaves an indelible mark on the minds of each and every one that he talks to, specifically, our Vanda, our order, Kurikol Vanda, or Arivaranda Samohama, Nama, Tamil Nadu, Innam, Tamil Nadu Matamela, Yelenir Hill Vanda, Inna Muneri, Serapa, Inna, Adatha level Kupono, Abdinger there, our various avenues, various spheres, Mulima either, Engleke, over time, Arivurti Terpare. It is not only preaching, he is a man of action. I think uh, we don't need uh, to introduce him uh, to all of you, but uh, you know, just to give a very simple thing, we all know his achievements uh, in the government uh, sector. He rose from uh, being a, a 
you know, additional collector to uh, when he retired, he was uh, the uh, chief secretary of uh, Tamil Nadu. So that is known to everybody. And many of you might have seen his speeches on YouTube, in TV, and many of you might have read his books. So these two activities we know because it has come through uh, in public life. But behind all these things, there is a man who is silently working to change people one step at a time. In fact, like we just got a glimpse of his recent activities. He's working with an NGO, he's giving his support, where he's, tra he's trying to transform a village uh, in, uh, in Chennai, where he's looking at a holistic development. It is not a specific set of intervention. It is how do you change the people in the village, not just youngsters, but also women, not just uh, uh, educated people and giving them some high level skills, but also he's looking at how he can give people skills that, that are required on a day-to-day -day basis, like training drivers, he was telling. So, and, and this is not for a specific set of uh, society. This is, uh, in his own words, he says it's inclusive development, which is what Tamil Nadu is known for all these years. So I think within that short span of time, I was able to even uh, tell what we have just started. Uh, I think uh, what, we have, what we have achieved in the village that we have adopted, uh, which is Ravatur village, is probably what we have done is a tiny bit of what he has achieved with just one village, I'm sure he has a lot of more, a lot more case studies. But uh, even within that span, uh, short span of time, we are very encouraged to copy the model. And he says, like, if you can create a model, and replicating the model is not uh, a difficult task. But creating the first model is what we have to uh, focus on, sir. We'll take your guidance. We'll take your inputs. And nanga niya. Adito garu when the campus varambo the. In the success story in Angaravatur village, uh, Namakamikla, I also <laughs> urge all the RVS fraternity, especially the uh, people of RVS College of Arts and Science, uh, to give all the support, and we will ensure from the manager from the management side whatever support is needed. And next time we call, sir, I think uh, we should uh, transform the village, and we should we should uh, call him for a function. Uh, you know, pertaining to Ravatur village. The next thing that he's passionate about that uh, he always says is faculty. Like uh, faculty, I think uh, you, you all have done a great job. We have seen the growth of this institution. This institution uh, grew from uh, 30 or 80 students to now 5,000 students. This uh, RV is arts and science alone. This could not have happened without the teaching fraternity. and. Uh, Lot of achievements were uh, uh, explained by our principal, by the faculty members. But is this enough? Is a question that we all have to ask ourselves. Uh, we probably have just touched the tip of the iceberg in terms of, uh, you know, developing scholarship within ourselves. I think uh, we have uh, Nuzat Sharmin from University of Glasgow here where she has come from, we have an association with the University of Glasgow, where we have given data of our students of about 10 years, anonymized data, and uh, she's working on a, a PhD project where she's trying to see whether the returns to higher education in India is higher than uh, the one in the West, and the hypothesis as of now says it is true, the returns to higher education in India is true. So she's trying to confirm that through various interventions. And in just a very short span of time, uh, just three, four days, but of course I've met her in all my trips to Scotland. But uh, these three days with, uh, with the time that I'm interacting with, I'm just amazed at the amount of scholarship that she had to absorb, learn, in order to finish her masters in research. And uh, the amount of material she's covered, probably uh, even a postdoc from uh, an average institution will not uh, cover here. So that is what we should aim to uh, aim for uh, the faculty members. And we are trying to put together a program where we can probably copy or emulate, copy in the right sense with all the patent and uh, uh, patent rights following all the rules and regulations. But, uh, you know, we would like to learn those kinds of things because if we are 
very happy with what we have achieved so far. I think we will become redundant uh, and irrelevant in a very, very short span of time. What we have achieved is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a long way to go. Let's just renew our pledge, faith, and make sure that uh, in the next uh, uh, seven years before the NAC cycle comes, we should also be eminent research institution. I think this is very much achievable, and uh, we will together achieve that. I'm not going to take much of the time. We are all here to listen to our chief guest. So on behalf, again, of all of us, I welcome our chief guest, sir, and I thank the staff, the awardees, and the students for a great year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's time to honor our chief guest, Dr. V. Irai Anbu IAS. I now request our managing trustee, Dr. K. Sindhil Ganesh, to honor our chief guest. Sirapu Virindinar, Munnal Talemi Sailalar, Muneva, our Galai Sirapurayata, and Budan Arakindro. Respected Managing Trustee, Respected Correspondent, Beloved Principal, Respected Secretary, Vice Principal, Faculty Members, and my dear young friends. I'm extremely happy to participate in this excellent event conducted in RVS Arts and Science College. The managing trustee was stressing about the importance of having field experience while you pursue your curriculum so that all your academic acumen could be directed towards the practical wisdom. The principal was mentioning about the holistic development that they are trying to impart to the students by making them involved in social activities as well as co-curricular activities. Today, the students who pursue higher education are increasing in number day by day and the gross enrollment ratio of Tamil Nadu is quite high compared to the other states. In fact, it is the largest among the larger states of India. In this context, it is pertinent to have quality being commensurate with the quantity that is pursued by the students of the higher education. We all know that education is undergoing a tremendous change in the recent years due to the advent of technology, gadgets, and also because of the mindset of the students. We all know very well that in future, artificial intelligence is going to play a vital role in shaping the education system in schools and colleges. Already we witnessed the impact of electronic gadgets in the school education. Now we will be having a tremendous scope to improve our knowledge and wisdom when we pursue the higher education. I always used to say that mere Memorizing the data is not going to help you in the field. You have to convert the assimilated data into information. And then you have to process the information and derive knowledge. When you apply the knowledge that you have gained from the field as well as from the books, then it becomes wisdom. The purpose of education is not to make you knowledgeable. It is to make you wise. In other words, knowledge belongs to the past. Knowledge is debt. Knowledge is borrowed. Knowledge is secondary. Knowledge is vicarious. Knowledge is futile. Knowledge is a shadow. But wisdom is the actual thing towards which all our efforts must be directed 
to us that particular thing which will happen at one particular point of time and make us highly interested in all the things that will that are happening around us that is why this holistic education becomes important learning from the books is very easy in many universities they have the system of open book education they need not have to memorize only in our state we think that education is synonymous with memory i beg to differ from this because memory is memory is not actual knowledge memory could be easily erased we all know that if we do not use a particular concept for a few years we tend to forget it but if you are able to comprehend it make it a part of your system and apply it you would never forget it i am reminded of an incident that's very important in neuroscience there was an experiment that was done with a patient called henry molaison who is often referred to as hechap this henry molaison had some brain injury and in order to save him the neuroscientists removed his hippocampus hippocampus in our brain is responsible for long term memory if the hippocampus is removed you will not be able to remember the things in fact you would be surprised to know that the hippocampus of women is larger than the hippocampus of men that is why they are able to remember even the past incidents very well and they have the episodic memory also the narration by a man would have only facts but ask a woman to narrate an experience it would be like a story you can write a short story out of the narration by a woman the hippocampus is stronger in women and their memory power is very strong not only that there are a lot of girl students i must also tell them that you have got you are cirrus cingulate very strong compared to men that is why your language capability is higher than that of men when the girl children speak they are so fluent and they start speaking at an earlier age compared to boy children another important factor in the brain of women is the corpus callosum which binds both the hemispheres of the brain the corpus callosum is strong and due to which they are able to do multitasking that is the difference between a man and a woman if you ask a man to cook he will shut the door and he can only cook nothing else but a woman will cook she will direct the children to do homework monitor the husband settle the milk account and also see how vegetables are being purchased by the neighbor all these activities could be simultaneously performed by the woman because she is capable of doing multitasking by virtue of the corpus callosum so when they removed the hippocampus of henry molaison he started forgetting the things he didn't even remember that he had breakfast and he would eat again so he became obese but they found one thing he has become intelligent so it only leads to the conclusion that when you have more memory you will be less intelligent so don't be swayed by the people who narrate verses continuously for 2 hours or 4 hours nothing of that sort it doesn't make any difference at all and if i am able to remember the facts and i am able to tell you that doesn't mean that i am intelligent in fact i am less intelligent when you rely on your past you are bound to be conditioned if you have more memory then you cannot think fresh only when you don't have memory you act according to the situation and all your faculties become alert you get heightened awareness like the way you have the heightened awareness when you enter into the examination hall henry molaison 
started forgetting everything, became obese, but, it, but his intelligence increased. On the other hand, they found something quite intriguing. He was able to ride the cycle, he was able to ride the motorcycle, he was able to do swimming, and he has not forgotten anything. Because the semantic memory is different from that of the procedural memory. Bicycle riding is procedural memory. Swimming is procedural memory. Driving a car is procedural memory. That is why we always tell that your education should be linked to the field experience so that you will never forget all those things that you learned in the field throughout your life. Lao Tzu said, go to the field. Live with the people. Love them. Learn from them. Start from what they have. Build with what they, start from what they know. Build with what they have. And finally, leave them with the feeling that they have done it themselves. And that is what is a field experience. So I appreciate this excellent institution for importing holistic knowledge to the students. And I must congratulate the managing trustee, correspondent and principal for aiming at the overall growth of the students rather than importing peripheral knowledge for the students. In many institutions, we have seen the students extremely brilliant, but when they go to the field, they are dismissed as dismal failures. What is the reason? Why they fail miserably? That is a question to be asked. That is a question to be explored. These students have gained bookish knowledge, but they do not know what is happening in the field. The field level reality is totally different from that of what happens in the educational institutions. Unless you relate what you have learned in the compound wall of your college to the field level issues, you may not be a successful student. Just studying a few books, learning them by heart, reproducing them in the examination is not enough. So I would reiterate again that every faculty member here should strive to give them hands-on experience. Unless they have hands-on experience, it may not be possible. I feel that even in importing education in the field of mathematics, you should have hands-on experience. How the Pythagoras theorem is applied in the field? I have learned Pythagoras theorem when I was in the eighth standard. And I did not know why Pythagoras has devised this theorem. We all think Pythagoras is just a mathematician. No, he's a great scholar, he's a great philosopher. We should read about Pythagoras first, then we should read about Pythagoras theorem. Then we will be able to appreciate Pythagoras much better than what we appreciate today. We should know about the willpower of Archimedes who said, don't disturb my circles when he was about to be killed. That was the academic spirit he had. And we have to learn that first. The moment we learn about the willpower of Archimedes, we will be able to appreciate the theorems of Archimedes much better. Philosopher. Archimedes was a philosopher. He was not just a mathematician. Every mathematician was philosopher. Plato wrote in his academy, all those people who are not interested in mathematics need not enter into my academy. Mathematics is a basic part of science. I'm surprised to know that in many educational institutions, there are no admissions for mathematics discipline, and they are closing them one by one. I am told that the students are scared of mathematics. Why? Just because they learn from books, they do not know the application of mathematics. I told you about Pythagoras. Pythagoras is a great philosopher. He has written Philosophia Peronica, a beautiful book on philosophy. Not only that he had tremendous willpower, when he was surrounded by his rivals in a beans field, he refused to eat 
beings survived for two days and collapsed. So much was the willpower of Pythagoras. If you read Philosophica Peranica, then you will understand the beautiful adages that he has used, the aphorisms that he has given to this whole world. When I read Pythagoras' theorem, I thought that it is just a problem. I never knew it would be applied in the field. When I was commissioner for economics and statistics, my colleagues told me that most of the commissioners would restrict themselves to the office. I was always interested in the field work, so I went to the field. They were doing crop cutting experiment. Crop cutting experiment means randomly selected fields will be used for harvesting and finally the amount of yield that it produces will be projected for the whole nation. That is how we project the yield of rice in Tamil Nadu, project the yield of sorghum in Tamil Nadu. Sorghum means not <laughs> paradise. Sorghum means it is jowar, it, then finger millet, then potato, whatever it is, sugar cane. For all these crops, it is being projected for the whole country. When I went for the crop cutting experiment, they said it has to be performed in a square plot of five meters on all sides. And they used the Pythagoras theorem for the first time. I know that Pythagoras theorem is so useful in the field. I would never forget Pythagoras theorem had I been taken to the field and told how it is being used in the field. Pythagoras theorem was used for survey in Greece. So it is very, very important that we relate whatever we study to the field level conditions. Your managing trustee is a quite interesting person because he wants to do something to this society. It is very rare to find such illustrious persons who want to give back something to the society in some way or other. And the best way of giving something back to the society is not in terms of money or pecuniary benefits, but in terms of changing the perception of the people. There are two types of mindsets. One is the fixed mindset, and the next is the growth mindset. Fixed mindset means you think that I am not capable when you face a failure. My intelligence is limited. I am not competent to shine in my life. I lack discipline. I lack memory power. I don't have intelligence. All these kinds of vague ideas, unfounded ideas are being thrusted on you by so many people around you. But on the other hand, if you have growth mindset, when you face a failure, you say, I have not tried enough. When you have fixed mindset, you say difficult. When you have growth mindset, you say it is challenging. When you have fixed mindset, you say it is not possible. When you have growth mindset, you, you say, I should make more efforts. The idea of the college education is not to just import education, but to change the fixed mindsets of the students to great growth mindset. There it becomes successful. Every individual who leaves this institution should feel that I am confident and I am competent to survive in this world and I will make a difference in this world. Certainly I will make a difference in this world. That is the kind of impact it should leave in the minds of the people. That indelible impact should be created in the minds. So, our students are highly competent, but what makes them so diffident? What makes them do not perform adequately in the competitive examinations that are conducted by various agencies? That is a question that has to be pondered over. Let me tell you one interesting thing that has happened in the United States of America. There is a place called Nogales. That Nogales, 50% lies in Mexico. 50% lies in the United States of America. We all say that the history of a place is decided by the geography of the place. Certainly because 
They have found out that a landlocked country cannot have economic growth. In a landlocked country, there is no scope for navigation, transport, marketing, influx of people into the territory, performance of trade, and finally that particular place will suffer. And they quote Afghanistan as, as one of the examples. It's one of the poor countries in the world. They also say that temperature will be responsible for the growth of the country. If the temperature is very high, for example, in the African countries, they have infection due to set sea fly and so many other organisms, and the people would suffer. They also say that the presence of educational institutions in a particular place will decide its growth. But as far as Nogales is concerned, the same weather, the same temperature. But 50% of the portion is in Mexico and 50% of the portion is in the United States of America. The portion in the United States of America is so developed. But the portion in Mexico is underdeveloped. The reason is very simple. You can find a book called Why Do Nations Fail? All the students of economics should certainly read this book. In that book, it has been mentioned that the growth in the United States of America is mainly because of the inclusive growth. Inclusive growth is essential for the development of an institution. That is why you are being imported co-curricular activities, extracurricular activities, and also field studies. Now, I would come to the most important point today. Our students are highly competent, but what blocks them? What prevents them from performance? Why are they not shining in various fields? For the kind of intelligence that they have, they must be topping in all competitive examinations. I am not saying this just to motivate you. I am not a motivator at all. In fact, you, I present the facts before you. It is li just like taking the lion to the water and show its shadow so that it understands as a lion and then starts roaring. That is the principle behind all my talks. But I must tell you the reality that our students are highly capable, highly competent, and highly intelligent. I have been interacting with the students for so many years. For the past 35 years, I have been interacting. One thing that I find quite disturbing is their hesitation to come out openly. They are highly reluctant. They know the answer, but they are scared. The fear of expression. They don't express themselves. They are scared if my answer is wrong, people would humiliate me. How to overcome this blockade? How to remove this obstacle? It is, very, it is highly essential for all the faculty members here. I appreciate them. They are going to receive the accolades from the institution for having completed and number of years of service in this institution with loyalty, sincerity, dedication, and hard work. At the same time, we have a teacher-oriented system. We speak most of the time, and the students are silent. There is a beautiful poem written by Browning. It is called the Andrea del Sarto is the monologue of Andrea del Sarto. In this poem, the painter Andrea del Sarto will be talking to his wife. It's a monologue. It's called dramatic monologue in English literature. In every class, I find only dramatic monologues. Straight monologues and the students are silent. Unless we make the students to speak for themselves, unless we make the students to present on various themes and make the classroom highly interactive, all the knowledge that you impart to these students will be of no use. They know the answer, but they can't speak out. In America, they have done a research. 
and they found out 10 reasons why people fear in general. There are various reasons for which people get scared. For example, people are afraid of snakes, people are afraid of water like that, people are afraid of dogs. The foremost fear that all the people have is the fear to speak in public. That tops the list. Many of them have this issue. So how to make the students to come out of this feeling? How to make them confident? We have to convert every classroom into a student-centered classroom. Let them come out. Let us not teach everything to the students. Let them learn on their own. Every student is capable of learning on his own. Only thing is, they do not know their potential. Make them understand the potential. Unless we make them understand their potential, they will not be able to realize it. The next important thing is to make them take risk. Unless they take risk, they will not be successful. All the people who succeeded in their life have taken calculated risk. Of course, we had people who did adventures, even lost their lives for taking risk. Nobody can give you a guarantee. I know people who take less food, no sugar, no oil, do exercises, don't have any bad habits, but still die at a young age. So we do not know what is there in our genes. We cannot give you a prescription that if you do such activities, you will survive long. If you don't do these activities, you will die early. There is no such criterion. Will Duran, in his history of civilization finally concludes that I have read history thoroughly and I have come to the conclusion that there is no guarantee that good people will die peacefully and bad people will die miserably. That's what he said. We would have expected Taimu to die in a miserable way for the, uh, for the kind of gruesome murders he has committed, but he died peacefully. There are empty number of instances in history where the end cannot be justified by the means. However, I personally feel that risks ought to be taken by our youth. When they have to choose between the easy and the tough, they should be emboldened to take a tough decision rather than an easy de decision. If there are two paths diverging right in front of them, they should be in a position to take the rough path, the tough path, difficult path, rather than the easier path. Then only they will be successful. In this context, I would say that you are all having immense potential. Make the best use of it. When we were in the college, we never had the opportunity to get exposed to the various spheres of life. You have the opportunity. You have the media available. You have the gadget available. I read somewhere that the amount of time taken for producing the data in the, 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 the data that could be produced in 2000 years could be generated in two days nowadays. Now data is not the problem. It's available. Information is not, an, not a problem because it's an era of information explosion. In fact, the information is chasing us. When we were young, we were chasing information. Now information is chasing us. In this scenario, I would advise all of you to use your college time effectively. You are all competent. Have a purpose. Your managing trust me asked me to speak something in Tamil also. Anbarna Nanbargale. Ungal Varkail Magatana Urukala Katatil Ningal Vard the Goder Creed. Ide Kovail Nanam Yenuda Kanduri Padipai Todandavan Engendra Karana Tiral in the Arakana Pradesatil Kanduri Varkay Miga. 
மகிழ்ச்சியாக கழிக்கின்ற உங்களுக்கு என் அனுபவத்தை பிழிந்து சில சொற்களை கூற விரும்புகிறேன் உங்கள் வாழ்க்கை மிகப்பெரிய பொக்கிஷமாக உங்கள் கையில் திகழ்வதற்கு நீங்கள் அதை எப்படி வடிவமைத்து கொள்கிறீர்கள் என்பதுதான் முக்கியம் இந்த பருவத்தில் உயர்ந்த இலக்குகளையும் சிறந்த நோக்கங்களையும் உங்கள் மனத்திலே நீங்கள் பதியம் போட்டால்தான் பின்னால் அவை பூஞ்செடிகளாக வளர்ந்து நறுமணத்தை வீசும் என்பதை நினைவில் வைத்து கொள்ளுங்கள் அன்பும் கருணையும் உள்ள வாழ்க்கைதான் வெற்றி பெறும் என்பதற்கு ஆயிரம் சம்பவங்கள் வரலாற்றிலே இருக்கிறது ஒரு மனிதனுடைய வாழ்க்கை அவன் சேகரித்த பணத்தாலும் சேமித்த சொத்துகளாலும் பெற்ற செல்வாக்காலும் மற்றவர் எழுந்து வணங்குவதாலும் படிக்கப்படுகின்ற பாராட்டு பத்திரங்களாலும் பெறப்படுகிற பரிசுகளாலும் தீர்மானிக்கப்படுவதில்லை அவனுடைய வெற்றி அவன் இந்த சமுதாயத்தில் எப்படிப்பட்ட மாற்றத்தை ஏற்படுத்த முனைந்தான் என்பதில் தான் இருக்கிறது அதற்கு தேவை இந்த சமுதாயத்தின் மீது பரிவும் கனிவும் அன்பும் கருணையும் என்பதை உணர்ந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் நம்மை சுற்றி இருப்பவர்களை நேசிப்பதற்கு நமக்கு யாரும் சொல்லிக் கொடுப்பதில்லை நாம் அவர்களை நேசிக்க கற்றுக்கொள்வதுதான் கல்வியினுடைய முதல் படி ஒரு வளாக நேர்காணலில் மாணவன் ஒருவனை கேட்டார்கள் கேட்ட கேள்விகளுக்கெல்லாம் அவன் விரைவாக பதில் சொன்னான் தினமும் உன் அறையை கூட்டுபவர் யார் என்று கேட்டார்கள் திருதிருவென விழித்தான் அவள் தோல்வியை தழுவிறான் ஒரே ஒரு மாணவன் என் அறையை கூட்டுபவர் இவர்தான் என்று பெயரை சொன்னான் அவனே தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்டான் காரணம் மனித வன மேலாண்மைக்குத்தான் அந்த நேர்காணல் மனிதர்களை நாம் எண்களாகவும் மனிதர்களை பதவிகளாகவும் பார்ப்பதால் அன்பு பிறந்து விடாது அவர்களை ரத்தமும் சதைபாவும் பார்ப்பதற்கு நாம் கற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் அவர்களை நேசிக்க கற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் இதை நாம் இந்த கல்லூரியில் கற்றுக்கொள்ளாவிட்டால் எப்போது கற்றுக்கொள்வோம் அதை யாரும் உங்களுக்கு கைபிடித்து அழைத்து சென்று இப்படி நேசி என்று சொல்ல மாட்டார்கள் நாம் எல்லாவற்றையும் அப்படியா நேசிக்க கற்றுக்கொண்டோம் நாம் எதை எதையோ நாம் நேசிக்க கற்றுக்கொண்டோமே யாருமே சொல்லித்தராமல் அப்போது இதை மட்டும் ஏன் யாராவது நேசிக்க வேண்டும் கற்றுத்தர வேண்டும் என்று எதிர்பார்க்கிறோம் நீங்கள் அதற்குத்தான் பாடத்தை படிப்பதோடு நிறுத்திவிடாதீர்கள் இலக்கியத்தை வாசியுங்கள் நீங்கள் உங்கள் பாடத்திட்டத்திலே பெறுகிற மதிப்பெண்கள் மட்டுமே உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையை தீர்மானித்து விடும் என்று எண்ணாதீர்கள் கவிதையை வாசியுங்கள் கட்டுரைகளை வாசியுங்கள் கதைகளை வாசியுங்கள் சிறுகதைகளை வாசியுங்கள் உலக இலக்கியங்களில் தலை சிறந்தவற்றையெல்லாம் வாசிக்க கற்றுக்கொள்ளுங்கள் நான் என்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் கடனே வாங்கக்கூடாது என்று கற்றுத்தந்த ஒரு மாப்பசானின் கதை உண்டு ஒரு பெண்மணி நடுத்தர வயது பெண்மணி பெரிய விருந்து ஒன்றுக்கு அவளுக்கு அழைப்பு வருகிறது இப்படியே செல்லலாமா அழகாக செல்ல வேண்டும் என்று நினைத்தாள் பக்கத்து வீட்டிலே சென்று இரவல் வாங்கினாள் கழுத்து நகை ஒன்று அவளுக்கு இரவலாக தரப்பட்டது அணிந்து கொண்டாள் கணவனோடு சென்றால் நடனமாடினால் திரும்பி வந்தாள் அப்போதுதான் கவனித்தால் கழுத்து நகை கபலீகரம் செய்யப்பட்டிருப்பதை எப்படி சொல்வது நகை தொலைந்து விட்டது என்று அவள் தன்னிடம் இருந்த சொத்துக்களை விற்றுவிட்டு தெரிந்தவர்களிடமிருந்தெல்லாம் கடன் வாங்கி அந்த நகையை வாங்கி அடுத்த நாள் கொடுத்தாள் பிறகு கடனை அடிக்க நாளெல்லாம் உழைத்தாள் இருபது ஆண்டுகள் அப்படி உழைத்து உழைத்து தேய்ந்து அழகான முகமும் அவலட்சணமானது இழைத்து போனால் துரும்பாக ஆனால் எலும்பு தெரிகிறது நரம்பு தெரிகிறது நரை முந்தியடித்து கொண்டு வருகிறது அவளை அந்த கோலத்தில் ஒரு நாள் பணியாற்றும் போது கழுத்து நகை இரவல் தந்தவள் பார்த்துவிட்டு கேட்டால் என்ன இப்படி இழைத்து போய்விட்டாய் எல்லாம் உன்னிடம் இரவல் வாங்கிய அந்த வைர நகைதான் காரணம் அப்படியா அது என்ன காரணம் நடந்ததை சொன்னால் 
ஐயையோ அது உண்மையான வைரம் அல்ல அது போலி நகை என்று சொன்னார் இப்படி போலிகளுக்காகத்தான் வாழ்க்கையே நாம் தியாகம் செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் நண்பர்களே அதனால் நீங்கள் இலக்கியங்களை வாசியுங்கள் மனிதர்களை நேசியுங்கள் நேரம் கிடைக்கும் போதெல்லாம் உங்கள் எதிர்காலம் எப்படி அமைய வேண்டும் என்று யோசியுங்கள் உங்கள் கல்வி அதற்கு ஒரு பாலமாக இருக்கட்டும் பயணமாக இருக்கட்டும் கல்வி பயணமாக இருந்தால்தான் உங்கள் இலக்கை நீங்கள் அடைய முடியும் வாழ்த்துக்கள் நன்றி வணக்கம் Thank you sir for enlightening our students with valuable insights that will mold them into responsible citizens we assure you sir that the students of rvs will readily travel through the challenging path and grab the right opportunity at the right time here is a short av about apr system let's have a glance Teaching is more than a profession it's a passion teaching is not a mere job it's a service we salute all our teachers on this auspicious occasion and welcome you all for the faculty excellence award function this prestigious award is given to faculty members who have excelled in teaching and learning process facilitating socially responsible activities research work and have demonstrated outstanding performance in institutional and department goals rvs cas faculty excellence award is a very prestigious award where top performing teachers are selected and recognized the selection is a very meticulous process where faculties are evaluated in a 360 degree mode teaching skills research outputs administrative brilliance students feedback and societal responsible activities are evaluated in the bottom line the award recipients are outstanding teachers congratulations to all the winners i am working in this college for the past 25 years and faculty excellence award is given as a recognition to the achievements of the faculty members and i'm happy to receive the award this year this award motivates us and aligns us to do the work much better and we want to produce students with better knowledge and employability and this helps us to go in the right direction and this is my first award in my career uh, i i hope and i'm sure that i'll be working very hard uh, to get this faculty excellence award in my upcoming career days I feel very happy to receive this honorable award. This is the first time I'm receiving this award. Last year faculty members vaangumbodhu naanu and award vaangunonu romba aasa patta. So adukana muyarchiyil eduthu adukana velangile paatha indha time vandha na award vaangura. I'm very happy. So every year indha mari APR awards kudukradnala engalukku actually romba oru motivation a irukku. So I feel very proud and uh, last year also I got the same uh, award and this year I have upgraded myself. So in you and the faculties vandu better a perform pandrukku in the awards vandu romba helpful a irukku Faculty Excellence Award in the one title da engala last year muluka paper presentation panna vechathu faculty development program attend panna vechathu publications book publication ellame panna vechathu in the title engalukku or healthy competition create pannadhu idu engalukku romba ve motivation a irukku enakku lifetime achievement avan kudukka poranga very happy for this award and at the same time inga da na idha vaangunu nu nenachen ஏன்னா திஸ் இஸ் மை தேர்ட்டி இயர் ஆஃப் சர்வீஸ் இன் ஆர்வியஸ் இங்க வாங்கணும்னு நினைச்சேன் அதை கொடுத்த உங்க அனைவருக்கும் மிக்க நன்றி மகிழ்ச்சி இது மாதிரி டைட்டில்ஸ் எல்லாருமே வாங்கணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறேன்
at the most awaited moment of the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, give a great round of applause to the awardees of APR. I request our chief guest, Dr. Irai Anbu IAS, to present the certificates and cash awards for the faculty members who come under HOD category. First, I call upon Dr. VP Karthikeyan, HOD BCom PA, to receive his award. Dr. S. Angelin Esther Preeti, HOD Foods and Nutrition, to receive her award. I call upon Dr. R. Karpagavalli, HOD BCom CA, to receive her award. I now request our chief guest to present the cash awards and certificates for the faculty members who come under about 10 year category. I call upon Dr. A. Priya, Assistant Professor, Foods and Nutrition Department. I call upon Mrs. R. T. A., Assistant Professor of the BCom Department. Put your hands together for Mrs. K. Chitra, Assistant Professor, School of Computer Studies, PG. Our Chief Guest to present the certificates for the faculty members who come under 5 to 10 year category. I call upon Mrs. Satya Shubha, Assistant Professor, Foods and Nutrition Department. Here we have Dr. G. Shankar, Assistant Professor from Electronics Department. Mrs. R. Kritika, Assistant Professor from BCom Department to receive her certificate. Dr. S. Kavita, Assistant Professor from Biochemistry Department to receive the award. Mrs. S. S. Soundarya, Assistant Professor from the Department of English to receive her award. Mr. P. Bhubadi, Assistant Professor from the Department of Mathematics to receive his award. I now request to present the cash awards and certificates to the faculty who come under 0 to 5 year category. First, I call upon Mrs. Yam Surya, Assistant Professor from the BCom PA Department. Put your hands together for Mrs. Yen Surya. I call upon Mr. T. Manikam, Assistant Professor from the Department of English to receive his certificate. Here we have Mrs. J. Satyamalar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Mathematics to receive her the award. Students give a great round of applause for Mrs. V. Indumadi, Assistant Professor from the Department of Computer Studies, UG. Here we have Dr. V. Manon Mani, Assistant Professor from the Department of Maya Technology. For Ms. S. Divya Darshini, Assistant Professor from the Department of English to receive her award. Mrs. K. Manishri, Assistant Professor from the Department of English to receive her award. Mrs. T. Bharati, Assistant Professor from the School of Business Management. Next, I call upon the winners of citation, the faculty members who come under the HOD category. Dr. K. Nagaratnam, Head of the Department of English, to receive her certificate. Dr. S. Shamina, HOD, Biochemistry, to receive her citation certificate. Now the category is for 10 and above years. I call upon Dr. M. Sivaganesh, Associate Professor from the Department of Biochemistry, to receive his citation certificate. Mrs. K. Eshoda Devi, Assistant Professor, Foods and Nutrition Department, to receive her certificate. The next category is 5 to 10 years category. I call upon Dr. P. Anita, Assistant Professor, Biochemistry Department. Mr. S. Prem Kumar, Assistant Professor, School of Computer Studies, PG. Dr. S. Ranjani, Assistant Professor, Tamil and Other Languages. And Mrs. Jyoti P., Assistant Professor from the School of Computer Studies, UG. Mrs. D. Suganya, Assistant Professor, School of Business Management. Dr. A. Rohini, Assistant Professor, Biochemistry. Mrs. S. Slochana, Assistant Professor from BCom PA Department. Dr. Wahida Abdul Khader, Assistant Professor from BCom IT Department. Dr. K. Amuda, Assistant Professor from the Department of Biochemistry to receive her citation certificate. The next category is the category less than five years. Dr. P. Chinnaswamy, Assistant Professor of Tamil to receive his citation certificate. For Mr. E. Balasubramaniam, Assistant Professor, School of Commerce, PG. Dr. N. Dharmaraj, Assistant Professor, School of Computer Studies, UG to receive his citation certificate. Dr. K. Sharulata, Assistant Professor, School of Business Management. Dr. G. Shakti, Assistant Professor, Biochemistry to receive her citation certificate. 
Here we go for Mrs. R. Soumya, Assistant Professor, School of Computer Studies, UG. Ms. S. Keetana of Microbiology Department. Mr. S. Jerome, Assistant Professor of English, to receive his citation certificate. Ms. S. Mohanapriya, Assistant Professor of Foods and Nutrition Department, to receive her citation certificate. Mr. L. Kiran Kumar, Assistant Professor of English, to receive his citation certificate. Mrs. N. Rupika, Assistant Professor of Electronics Department. And here we have Mr. S. Venkatesan, of Assistant Professor of MBA Department. Mr. Prabaharan A., Assistant Professor, School of Computer Studies, UG. Mr. Ramakrishnan K. S., Assistant Professor of BCom Department to receive his citation certificate. Dr. Uday Suryan, Assistant Professor of Biotechnology Department. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the next prestigious award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. I am greatly honored to call upon Dr. Lalita, Head, Department of Languages, to receive the award from our esteemed Chief Guest. At this juncture, I am immensely proud to share that Dr. Lalita has a total of 30 years of teaching experience and she is the State Coordinator of Bharatiya Bhasha Manch of SSUN Hindi Sahita Bharati and Bharatiya Mahila Manch. She is also a member of the Hindi Advisory Committee in the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs and the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Development. She has received more than 12 awards and has published 8 books among which one is a translated version of Tirukkural into Marathi language. The, the book was released by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, in Ta Kasi Tamil Shankam. She has also been awarded for the same by Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu, Thiru R. N. Ravi, on the occasion of Mahakavi Subramanya Bharadiyar birth anniversary and Bharatiya Bhasha Utsav 2023. <laughs> Can we have a standing ovation to the Lifetime Achievement Awardee, Dr. N. Lalita. She had also been selected for Hindi International Conference held in Fiji, a country in South Pacific, by the Foreign Ministry in February 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a legend here along with us as an example, as a motivation, as an inspiration for all the teacher community. Happy tears with ma'am. Thank you dignitaries, thank you ma'am. We are overwhelmed by your achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, before we present the next award, I call upon K. Kavya of 2nd B.C. Microbiology to recite Tirukural. She is the awardee of Dr. Well, Mr. Wellingri Endowment Award may have K. Kavya of 2nd Mic B.Sc. Microbiology. Good morning to all. I am Kavya from 2nd B.Sc. Microbiology. Adhikaram Manju, Kadaval Vartu. Agara Mudala Yeltalam, Adi Bhagavan, Mudatre Ulag. Kachadanal Aya, Pine and Cold Valar, even Natural Tolarini. Malarmisa Eginan, Manadi Senda, Nermisa Nid Valva. Vendudal Venda, my Ilanadi Senda, Kumyandum, Midum by Ila. Irul say, Rivinayum, Sera, Irivan, Porul say, Pugal Purindar Mate. Porivai, Line the Vitan, Poiti, Rodikan, Ninja, Nid Valva. Tanakuma, Illadan, Talsenda, Kalal, Manakavali, Machalari. Aravari, and then in Talsenda, Kalal, Piravari. Kolil, Poril, Gunamedawe, Engunatan, Tare, Vanagadale, Perevi, Peringadal, Ninduva, Ninda, Revenadi Serada, Adigara Mirende, one syrup, Maninji, Ragam, Varangi, Varadalai, Tanamil, the Menjuner, Pach, Tupark, Tupaya, Tupaki, Tupark, Tupaya, Tuvum, Mari, Vendendri Pipin, Virini, Viragatul, Ninju, Detrum Passi, Eri, Nular, Rever, Pelendum, Vari, Valangunjingal, Kedipadum, Getarkum, Sara, Machange, Edipadum, Mella, Mari, Visuming, Tulavilin, Allah. Matrange, Pasumul, Talekan, Baride, Nedingadalum, Tanir, my Kundrum, Tadindari, Tanalga, Dagi Vidin, Sirapodi, Pusari, Sella, the Vanam, Barakumil, Vanur, Kumind, Danam, Davamirandum, Danga, Venodagam, Vanam, Badangadani, Near Indri, Amaya, the Uragan, Yariakum, Manindri, Amaya, the Urik, Adigara, Mundri, Nita, Perme, Urikat, the Nita, Perme, Viripat, the Vendum, Panavar, Tunive, Turandar, Perme, Tunakurin, Vayeti, Randara, Indi Kondat, Irme, Vagaitarin, the Indar, and Pondar, Perme, Penangit, Urag, Urani. 
என்னும் தோட்டியான் ஓரைந்தும் காப்பான் வரன் என்னும் வைப்பிற்கோர்வித்து ஐந்து அவித்தான் ஆற்றலகல் விசுமனார் கொம்மான் இந்திரனை சாழும் கரி செயற்கரிய செய்வார் பெரியர் சிறியர் செயற்கரிக செய்களாதார் சுவையொலி ஊறு ஓசை நாற்றமென்று ஐந்தின் வகை தெரிவான் கட்டை உழகு நிறைமொழி மாந்தர் பெருமை நிறுத்து மறைமொழி காட்டிவிடும் குணமென்னும் குன்றேறு நின்றார் வெகுழி கணமேயும் காத்தலறிது அந்தனர் என்போர் அறவோர் மற்றவ்வுயிருக்கும் செந்தன்மை போன்றொழுகலான் அதிகாரம் நான்கு அரண் வழியுறுத்த சிறப்பீனும் செல்வமும் மீனும் மரத்தீனுங்கு ஆக்கம் எவனோ உயிர்க்கு அறத்தீனுங்கு ஆக்கமும் இல்லை அதனை மரத்தலின் உங்கில்ல கேடு ஒல்லும் வகையான் அரவினை ஓவாதை செல்லும் வாய் எல்லாம் செயல் மனத்துக்கன் மாசலன் ஆதல் அனைத்து அரண் ஆகுல நீரப்பிற அழுக்கார அவா வெகுழி இன்னாச்சொல் நான்கும் இடுக்கா என்ற தரம் அஞ்சறிவாம் என்னாது அறஞ்செய்க மற்றது பொன்றுங்கால் பொன்றாந்துரை அறத்தாறு இதுவன வேண்டா சிவிகை பொருத்தானோடு ஊர்ந்தான் இடை வீணால் படாமை நன்னாற்றின் அக்தொருவன் வாழ்நாள் வழியடைக்கும் கல் அறத்தான் வருவதை இன்பம் மற்றெல்லாம் புறத்த புகழும் இல்லை செயற்பாழ தோறும் மரணே ஒருவருக்கு உயர்பார தோறும் பழி அதிகாரம் ஐந்து இல் வாழ்க்கை இல் வாழ்வான் என்பான் இயல்புடைய மூவர்க்கும் நல்லாற்றி நின்ற துணை துறந்தார்க்கும் துவ்வாதவர்க்கும் இறந்தார்க்கும் இல் வாழ்வான் என்பான் துணை தென்புழத்தார் தெய்வம் திவிருந்தொக்கள் தான் என்று அங்கு ஐம்புழத்தாறு ஒம்பல் தலை பழியஞ்சி பாத்தூன் உடைத்தாயின் வாழ்க்கை வழியஞ்சல் எண்ணியாற்றும் இல் அன்பும் மரணும் உடைத்தாயின் இல் வாழ்க்கை பண்பும் பயனும் அது அறத்தாற்றின் இல் வாழ்க்கை ஆற்றில் புறத்தாற்றில் போவை பெறுவது எவன் இயல்பினான் இல் வாழ்க்கை வாழ்பவன் என்பான் முயல் எல்லாம் தலை ஆற்றின் ஒருக்கி அரணிருக்க இல் வாழ்க்கை நோற்பாரின் நோன்மை உடைத்து அரணப்பட்டதை இல் வாழ்க்கை அக்தும் பிறன் பழிப்பது இல்லாயின் என்று வையத்துள் வாழ்வாங்கு வாழ்பவன் வானுரையும் தெய்வத்துள் வைக்கப்படும் அதிகாரம் மாறு வாழ்க்கை துணை நிலம் மனைத்தக்க மாண்புடையவள் ஆகிதர் கொண்டான் வளர்த்தக்கால் வாழ்க்கை துணை மனைமாற்றி இல்லான்கண் இல்லாயின் வாழ்க்கை எனைமாற்றி தாயினும் இல் இல்லதன் இல்லவல் மாண்பானால் உள்ளதன் இல்லவல் மானா கடை பெண்டிர் பெருந்தக்க யாவுல கற்பெண்ணும் திண்மையுண்டாக பெரி தெய்வன் தொழாள் பண்புடை <laughs> தம்பொருள் என்பதம் மக்கள் அவர் பொழு தம்தம் வினையான் வரும் அமிழ் தினும் ஆற்ற இனிதேத மக்கள் சிறுகை அழாவிய கூழ் மக்கள் மை தீண்டல் உடற் கின்பம் சொற்கேட்டல் மற்றவர் இன்பம் செவிக்கு குழைனிது யாழினிது என்பதம் மக்கள் மழலை சொல் கேளாதவர் தந்தை மதற்காற்றும் நன்றி அவ்வையத்து முந்தி இருப்ப செயல் தம்பிந்தம் மக்கள் அறிவுடைமை மாழியத்து மண்ணுயிர் கெல்லாம் இனிது ஈன்ற பொழுதே பெழுதுவக்கும் தன் மகனை சான்றோர் என கேட்டத்தாய் இவன் தந்தைக்கு ஆற்றும் உதவி மகன் தந்தை என்றோனர் கொல் எனுஞ்சொல் தேங்க்யூ Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for K. Kavya of 2nd B.Sc. Microbiology. I request our correspondent Srimati Sri Vidya Lakshmi to present the prestigious Mr. Vellengiri Endowment Award for her proficiency in Thirukural Recitation. Beloved students, put your hands together for K. Kavya of 2nd B.Sc. Microbiology. Our secretary, Prof. Sarama Samuel, to present Dr. H. Muhammad Mubarak Endowment Award to S. Vidya Bharati of 2nd MSc Foods and Nutrition and A. Trisha of 3rd B.Sc. Biotechnology for the best life science student category. Here we have two awardees. Yes, Vidya Bharati of 2nd MSc Foods and Nutrition and A. Trisha of 3rd B.Sc. Biotechnology. The next award is Dr. Madhusudhanan Endowment Award given for the proficiency in Tamil language. I call upon M. Bhavadharani to receive Dr. Madhusudhanan Endowment Award. M. Bhavadharani of 2nd B.Sc. Mathematics. I request our chief guest to present the certificates. R. Shri Leka of 3rd B.Sc. Biochemistry. Can we have R. Shri Leka of 3rd B.Sc. Biochemistry. Chandana C. Naya. And Manikyu Binu of Biochemistry Department. Next we have Ashwati Chureshan and Muhammad Uwas of PG Biochemistry Department. Put your hands together for Yam Arjuna Devi and C. Vignesh and J. Aishwarya of UG Biotechnology Department. Beloved students, give a great round of applause for Yam Vaishalini. and V Sandhya of PG Biotechnology Department. Mm-hmm. 
என் ஆட்லின் பெனிகா கோகிலா அண்ட் ஆர் கோகிலா ஆஃப் யூஜி மைக்ரோபயாலஜி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் எம் கவியரசி அண்ட் கிருபாநிதி ஆஃப் பிஜி மைக்ரோபயாலஜி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் Here we have Yam Amreen and Adi Pradipa of UG Foods and Nutrition Department and K. Jaya Prabha and SP Sendur Priya of PG Foods and Nutrition Department. Proficiency in Catering Science and Hotel Management, Sham Henslin D. L. Vivek, B. Harish Kumar and R. Thane Muli of UG Electronics Department, S. Sanjay Kumar and Deshit of PG Applied Electronics Department. Here we have S. Vishnu Vardini and K. G. Sanjay of UG IOT Department. Put your hands together for B. Vinupriya, K. Roshan and E. Sandhya of UG Mathematics Department and S. Keetana and C. Keetana of PG Mathematics Department. Here we have M. Darshini, S. Maheshwari and H. Anjana of UG Computer Science Department and K. Janani, A. Jeevita and S. Shubashri of B.Sc. IT Department. Let's call upon Karthi Shwaranji, Shivaranjani K and Priyadashni M of BCA Department and Vishnu Priya S, Lourdu Staina of Data Science Department. Put your hands together for Kaushik Ram and D Lalita of PG Computer Science Department and D Kavinesh from the Department of MCA and M Jayashree from the Department of MCA. and the winners of proficiency from the department of bba we have v mahalakshmi and amrita shri and shri shiva shri and from the bba ca department we have m archana d agalya and p priya from the bba logistics department we have m deepa shri s aparna and e varsha and from the mba department we have karishma and a deepika Put your hands together for the MSW winner, Merlin Drisla Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the proficiency winners. Shirin Rukshana of BA English Department and R Hema Priya and G John C Jennifer from BA English Department Here we have Dawlin Jabashima from MA English Department round of applause for the proficiency winners my dear students ladies and gentlemen here comes our anushya deepika shri k and shweta v from psychology department Yen Yuvaraj, Yen Balaji, and Yen Uma Maheshri from BCom Department, and from BCom End of Department we have D Yuvarani and C Udayamaran. From the BCom C A Department we have R Kirtana, B Kartika, and Jennifer A Jeshri, Yen B. and from the bcom it department we have v nitya naga harshita and jasina put your hands together for k nadia and benushia
Bcom PA department, we have K Nadia, Benushia, and Eba. From Bcom BA department, we have S Pavitra, P Kavipriya, and R Subalakshmi. From, from Mcom department, we have S Shobika, and C Satya. And from Mcom CA department, we have T R Swati, M Kritika. And Mcom IB department, we have R Gopika, and V Gokul Krishnan. We have L Priyadarshini and K Roshan for the Tamil Proficiency Certificate. Here we have S D Mokshita and Gauriya Jasoni for Hindi Proficiency Certificates. And V Vaiduria and R Sandhya for the English Proficiency Certificate. And T U Amrita and R Rajeshwari for Malayalam Proficiency Certificate. And K V Arya and Yam Harihara Rajan for French Proficiency Certificate. Here we go for the most excited moment, the announcement of the best outgoing student, UG, our Anushia of 3rd BSc Psychology. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our Anushia. Our Anushia of 3rd BSc Psychology is the best outgoing student, UG. I request our chief guest to honor the best outgoing student. Here we have the best outgoing student PG, A Karishma of MBA. I call upon Karishma to receive the award. RVS College of Arts and Science has always rendered helping hands to the needy and the underprivileged. As an initiative of societal services, Rautur Village has been adopted under the Village Adoption Scheme of Unnat Bharat Abhiyan. As part of the scheme, special coaching classes for rural students from class 6 to 12 are being conducted from the past three years. Skill development programs are conducted frequently. This year, tally coaching classes were conducted and five students have got through the tally prime 3.0 examination. Put your hand together we are happy to honor those students today i call upon narmada e studying bcom in rvs college of arts and science to receive the certificate i now request our vice principal dr m p i padas to propose a vote of thanks at the outset i would like to thank dr v irayan busar the man with impeccable records of administrative and academic record and unparalleled expertise but definitely i know that he won't like all those decorations the rent masa monadi nano principal sir on the psc tech poir nonga sir would have a speech attend under the good so i don't want the naraya poets you little other girl lyricist never in langa i'm gonna learn me on the sour on the journey i is low on the sour on a civil service uh achievements everything they were explaining but when sir took the podium our ore ore vaarthu dhaan sonnaarenga the former secretary ias everything is fine but still i am v irai anbu v irai anbu ingrade vengadajalam irai anbu dhaan irundhal ipo verum irai anbu appdinu sonnaarenga so all the speakers before me they have mentioned about sir's simplicity so now he is in a stage that he would like to shed all this accolades recognition and affiliations and we also would like to join you sir our sincere wishes and prayers towards the journey towards vanaprastha thank you sir darshan of shiva is very difficult especially in couple of days maha shivaratri is coming but today we are blessed that Shiva and Parvati together has given the darshan to the entire RVS family. So I thank our visionary leader, our techno manager guru, our managing trustee Dr. K. Sindhil Ganesh sir, and Vidya Lakshmi Sindhil Ganesh madam, our revered correspondent, 
for all their unparalleled support and unconditional support and blanket permissions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Next, I would like to thank the Mother Teresa of our group, Professor Sarama Samuel, madam, a compassionate personality. Thank you, madam. I would like to give my sincere thanks to the captain of the ship, dynamic personality, our beloved principal, Dr. D. Shogumar, sir. Thank you, sir. My sincere thanks to our chief executive officer, principals from other institutions, directors, Ms. Nusaz Chairman, research scholar all the way from University of Glasgow, UK, all the directors, heads, student friends. I'll be failing in my duty if I'm not mentioning a name, Maheshwari Madam from Bharatiya University. So Maheshwari Madam is here. Madam, could you please stand and... Uh, so Madam, we used to call her as a fireball in Bharatiya University. Thank you, Madam. And thanks for the office team from Irayan sir. Thank you, dear student friends. Thank you, and Jai Hind. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravid, Utkal, Banga, Vindhi, Machal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchal, Jalati, Taranga, Dava, Shubha, Nami, Jahi, Dava, Shubha, Shisha, Mahi, Gahi, Dava, Jaya, Gada, Janagan Mangal Dayan Kajayani Barad Barkya Vidada Jayani 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 Jayani